welcome to part 9 of Ocarina of Time. In this part, we're going to... to God damn it, Navi! Do not interrupt me while I'm speaking. We're going to start the Dodongo's Cavern. It's going to be a two-parter here. Simply put, because of the fact that this dungeon's actually really long. And also, one thing that needs to be said, if you're bringing your Deku shield here, it's best to also have the Hylian shield as well, because you need some sort of shield to go through. But first, when you hop over to this side, drop a bomb flyer by this wall, and this should reveal the map. Yeah, it'd be stupid to actually go throughout this entire game without the map. Master quest! But anyway, now that we've got the dungeon map, we can continue. Oh, and also, don't worry about the Deku scrub that's right next to that Beemos. Yes, the Beemos are back, only this time, you can actually destroy them unlike Link to the Pass. In Link to the Pass, you can do diddly to those things. Now, all you have to do is pick up a bomb, or bomb flower, and toss it at him. Okay, that was a little bit too far from it. So let's pick this up again. And toss it at the Beemos. Thank you. Now, over here is where you're going to run into this Deku Scrub. He's going to be selling you a Deku Shield. But I wouldn't worry about the Deku Shield too much. Basically... This place is too damn hot for you to even run around with a Deku Shield. You'll end up losing it anyway, like I will in this part. Eventually, I'll get it back. Oh, damn. Not a good move. Oh, well, I'll just have to jump across again. And I think it dawned on me that I won't be able to get to that door just yet. Anyway... Ah, it's slowly rise up the lava, will ya? This palace is, well, without me screwing up and backtracking, this palace is pretty damn long. So there's only one door you need to go to right now. Let's first throw this on the Beemos. And then we're gonna use the bomb flowers to break open both doors. I mean, both hidden passages. But in order to start our adventure, you need to... Oh, damn it, I was a little bit too far away from there. But in order to actually continue on in our adventure, you need to go through this door first. But you also need to unlock the other side, too. And there's not a bonfire on the other side of that wall, so... Yeah, make sure you pull open both doors. So once you come in, you will come out. Alright. Let's get ready for some baby Tadongos. There's one thing that needs to be known about the Tadongos. Whether it's baby or regular Tadongos. Tadongos will explode after you hit them enough times. Whether it's one shot for the baby ones, or three shots, depending on if you make them eat a bomb flower. But the Dongos will only uh, stay on screen after they die. But then they'll detonate. And as you saw earlier, if they detonate, they will blow up in, in front of their uh, kin. So, technically speaking, it will cause a chain reaction. Also, if you don't have a bomb, you can lure a baby to Dongo over here, kill it, and blow it up. And blow up the wall over here. But that's more of a risky move. I'd rather come back with the bomb. Anyway, beware of this statue on the right side. Come to the one right here where I'm grabbing. The one on the right side is actually an Armos Knight. There is going to be plenty of Armos Knights here. 
I'd say about three or four rooms is gonna have them. And it can be really tedious. Now, let's grab my slingshot and deal with these bastards. Alright. Let's open the door and... Uh-oh. Lizalfos! Okay, this is where you're gonna need the Deku Shield. But then again, you can also use the Hylian Shield, it doesn't really matter. But you also gotta focus on these guys. Damn it! Turn around, focus on it. Okay. Damn it, focus! Oh, well that works too. Basically, what you want to try to do is focus on the list locals and you see targeting. When you try to slash you, you jump slash them. And you jump slash them. Now the list locals only have two more jump slashes and they're dead. That one may have about three. You can also use the, uh, Hylian shield for this counter attack. But it's best to use the Deku Shield, because Hylian Shield, it may give you a second in delay because of the fact you're crouching instead of uh, kneeling or standing forward. Come on, you missed that. There you go. That's how you win that bastard. Well, that blue rupee's not worth it. I mean, I have about 99 of them. I'm maxed out. Nonetheless, we shall go to, I do believe, this door. Yes, this door. And we can lure the Dodongos over here for to find another surprise. I think it's another Skulltula. Or maybe it's a Deku... No, it's a Deku Scrub, I remember. I think that Deku Scrub will sell you uh, a Deku Stick. Just in case you happen to run out of him. can't slay the Deku, uh, well, the Deku Salesman. You can only, uh, reflect their Deku seats back at them. But, do you really want a 15 piece of Deku sticks? No, no, uh, one piece of Deku stick for 15 rupees, even though you can clearly find Deku seeds in bottles if you don't have any? Oh, that reminds me. Time to bomb some Dodongos. Aw, oh, damn it. Ah, uh, get over here. I will bomb you. You can get them in their mouths. It's pretty hard to do because their mouths are just pretty short. Well, actually, it's hard to do because of the bomb speeds. But yeah, I just bombed at the Dongo. Alright, let's make sure I kill all these Dodongos before I light the torches. So I will be back when I do. Oh god damn it, I thought I got them all. Apparently I didn't. Alright. I might as well just kill this damn Dodongo because I'm more than likely to get damaged. This thing's still around. Well, good news is, at least these things will light your stick if you're actually got it out. Bad news is, uh, they'll also do damage to you. Let's just stay back and not get blown up. Let's see, did it leave anything behind? No. I oh, actually, yes, it did. It left some slingshot pellets. Nice. Now, let's try to light these torches. No, not try. Let's light these torches and get on our merry way. Oh, by the way, don't worry about the fact that you lose a Deku Shield because there's a free Deku Shield in this dungeon anyway. So, yeah. Free Deku Shield. That's awesome. And this will probably be the last dungeon you have to worry about losing your Deku Shield in. I promise you. 
next area we go to, you don't have that problem. But in the meantime, we need to focus on this area. So what we're gonna do is go across, oh! Sweet Jesus, that would have been nasty. And wait, what are you doing past me? You could just travel along the side of the uh, cliff and actually climb up the stairs to get to the next area. You know that, right? No, no past RV man, what are you doing? Oh wait, no, no, never mind. I know what he's doing, equipping a Hylian shield because you lost your Deku shield. Not worrying or pretty much forgetting about the Dodongos that happen to be in the area. Ah, uh, whatever. I really honestly didn't want to waste everybody's time with the Dodongos, so that's why I cut that out. And unfortunately, I'm going to also uh, cut out what's going to happen after I entered in this door, because basically it's me just uh, toying with the Armos Knights, like an idiot. But basically what you gotta do in the next room, there's only one statue that isn't an Armos Knight statue, and what you have to do, oh, not this room, sorry. It's the one upstairs, but this room, has one statue that's an Armos Knight, and two that isn't. But it's the room upstairs that's the problem. The room upstairs have, like, one statue that isn't an Armos Knight, and three that are. The Armos Knights are relentless, and they will self-destruct on contact. Basically, if you throw a bomb in front of a statue, and the statue doesn't move, it's not an Armos Knight. Oh, and be careful, once you destroy an Armos Knight, they're more than likely going to self-destruct. Funny thing, the Armos Knights is a trademark from Legend of Zelda Ocarina, no, Link to the Past. Not Ocarina Time, we're playing Ocarina Time. It's, a, it's one of the trademark mission enemies. Sorry, trademark enemies of Link to the Past. Except they didn't explode. They only exploded in this game. But we got the compass. Let's get back on track. And now we need to put this bomb here right when it's about to detonate. So the blast can catch both bombs. And shut up, Navi. I know what I'm doing. Alright. Now all we have to do is climb these stairs and get to the next area. Oh, I thought there was keys in this area too. That would be annoying if there were. But no, they've got something just as annoying. Skulltulas. Well, actually a gold skulltula and a regular- Oh god, no! That just happened. I am so sorry for wasting people's time. I did not mean to jump down like that. That is just rather stupid. But yeah, as I warned you before, I may end up cutting out the next room until I actually solve the puzzle because I'm like an idiot tempting fate and toying with the Armos Knights. I almost get myself killed in the process. All right. I'll take that skull token up there, and that will probably make about seven or eight. It's probably eight. I, I haven't even checked. I might have to. But anyway, here's the dungeon I was talking about. Well, the dungeon part I was talking about. And I will see you guys when I solve the puzzle. Ah. <sighs> Well, at least one of them had a heart, or couple. Anyway, all we had to do was pull this Armos Knight statue out of the way. And step on this block here. That would not have triggered the other Armos Knights. So I was just fooling around throwing bomb flowers like an idiot for nothing off screen. However, now that we're in this area, Keys. And 
this is the part where I may end up making a jump cut because I was answering a phone. But it's going to cut right about now. Oh, sorry about that. Like I said, I was answering the phone when I was recording. Anyway, Navy is once again, no, Navi is once again telling us something that we already didn't know. You could use L targeting to see what's in your general direction. Or we'll see what's about to kill you. Oh, and just in case you take some damage, right underneath this block, well behind this block, there is a heart. We shall use that heart. And now we're going to jump over the block and push the block back into the stairs and try to climb up. Yes, I may be cutting people, but it's basically fooling around and inadvertently fooling around on my part. Except for with the Armos Knights. That was intentionally stupid. And yeah, I was just tempting fate. Okay, stop that. No, you can jump from the lower. God damn it, jump from the lower platform. Uh, yeah, this is so ridiculous. Jump! Just jump from the lower platform. You know what? Screw it, jump cut. Alright, from this platform, you climb up. That's all you had to do. And this treasure chest contains a red rupee. While the other treasure chest way on the other side, that contains our final dungeon item. Throw it! But yeah, the final dungeon item that's way over there on the other side, that contains the bomb. And we've got our slingshot equipped. And of course, that's going to be useful here shooting that in the eye, and you can always jump down and get some more, uh, slingshot pellets. Damn Dodongo kids. I mean, baby Dodongo. I know there's another one around here. Take that! Alright. Now it's time for Lysolfos battle number two. The platforms are just smaller. And I'm out and I'm out of a Deku shield. Oh, damn it. And jump slash. Yeah, that's right, you better run, bitch. I'll get to the middle platform with that one. You'll know which one to attack when it's dust and foes when it's about to strike. Yeah, struggling there, aren't ya? All right, not this one, the next one. All right, come on. What are you waiting for? Come on. Who runs this? Certainly not you. Okay, that one's dead. Now for the next one. See, if this was Skyward Sword, he would reminding me that I played too much, uh, too much game time, basically. And that right there would piss me off. But anyway, we're done with the Lasalfos. So, yeah. Um, this isn't really straight playthrough recording. It's more like 50 minutes per session. Tops. But... The fact that I brought up Fee is the fact that I just recently, or Fi, is the fact that I played Hyrule Warriors recently, and every goddamn time I made a sudden movement, either Fee, no, Fi or Proxy had something to say. That was so goddamn annoying, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. Even if Fi is the character you're playing. But nonetheless, it's time for us to get the final dungeon item of this game! Not game, I meant this dungeon. Damn. We're not at the end of the game, far from it. But we've got a bomb bag. That was time inconspicuously. 
Meaning we've got 20 bombs. We can make that bomb bag bigger. But for the time being, we needed to get out of this dungeon. And that's where this is going to be when I'm not using the Deku Stick. Cause arson, murder, and jaywalking. That's why. Uh oh, Deku Scrubs. I don't have a Deku Shield. Time to go. Ah, Christ. I just realized jumping down here would mean I have to go through all that all over again. Well, to spare you that, I will finish the dungeon of Dodongo's Cavern in Part 10. This is RVMan 985 See you guys next time. I got bombs. Yeah, and Fee is annoying.